it's obviously been the most insane and traumatic time. The woman whose home was destroyed in Anne Hayes' car crash speaks out. Her name's Lynn Michelle, and she explains why it took her a week to break her silence on the ordeal. It's Lynn Michelle, um, still recovering and trying to figure out up from down. It's really, truly overwhelming. Um, you guys have really impacted my life in, in a very profound way. Um, so thank you so much to everybody and I will uh, keep you updated. Lynn previously released a statement through her legal team, her lawyer telling ET, quote, Miss Michelle is devastated by what happened to her, not only because she and her pets almost lost their lives, but because all of her property, including items of profound sentimental value, were destroyed. Lynn takes a moment to show her dogs who were unharmed in the wreck, but says her pet tortoise is being cared for after being displaced. That's Bree, and that's Reuben, and they just want to say thank you so much for uh, cheering them on. Um, and my tortoise, my friend Christia is watching my tortoise, so Marley says hi from the valley. Lynn expresses her gratitude for the love and compassion from around the world after Anne crashed her Mini Cooper into Lynn's L.A. residence and set it ablaze. L.A. City Fire tells us when the car crashed, it caught on fire and the fire started spreading into the home, resulting in flames and a whole lot of smoke. Anne died on Friday, but the video came just hours after the actress's rep told E.T. she was on life support and was not expected to survive. Anne has sustained life-threatening injuries. These are the most serious injuries that we see in burn care. E.T. spoke with a burn specialist who gave us his professional opinion on the long-term effects of Anne's condition. Whenever you're in an enclosed space, like a car or an apartment or a house, that allows smoke and chemicals to build up, which damages the lungs and prevents you from breathing on your own. So the only way to survive is to have mechanical uh, ventilation, artificial breathing for you on a machine. We're told Anne's family was keeping her on life support in order to see if her organs could be donated. As her rep explained in the event of Anne's death, it has long been her choice to donate her organs.